Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and in part one of our story tutorial, uh, we made this little story with the guys talking to each other. Okay then, now part two, we're going to have an introduction to the story here, which fades out. Then the guys appear, and it's basically all of part one, again from this point on. And what we'll have when they leave the garden is a transition where we have a change of background and then the guys will go to the part two or scene two. So there's our transition and here we are at scene two. So this is what we are going to build now in part two of the tutorial. So let's get started. Right then, let's get started. This is part one, and so you need to load that up to continue with part two. Now, the first thing we need to do is uh, create a new sprite, and what this sprite is going to be is the introductory message. All right, so we'll write the text first, and we get on the text tool. Now, it has a hand here where you can move it, so we'll just move it into position, and we'll take the magnifying down to a uh, full screen here, and just move that again. We'll start off with um, black text and for our font we are going to select uh, just go through the fonts here with more until we get to um, the one we want which is Comic MS Sans. So let's type in our title for the story. It's going to be Scratchy and Birds adventure. Okay then, what we were going to do now is go on to the rectangle tool here and we had an orange color and we're going to build a rectangle um, for that title to fit in. So we'll make that about that big and then we can change back to the text tool and get our title and move it in. Now we just had our title with white writing so what we can do is we can use the mouse to highlight this and change the color down here, the color picker, into white and that's pretty much our sprite done and so we'll say OK. Now on that sprite, we now need to add some scripts. That sprite, we can move it here on the storyboard uh, down roughly into position. And we need to note what that position is. Okay, so up the top here on the sprite, we can see that's 7 and minus 133. So what we need is first a control block that when we start off, we are going to show that sprite. All right, so in looks, not sounds, uh, we need to get the show, which is down near the bottom here, and show that sprite. All right, then. Now, we need to put it in position. At, at, uh, if we click back on it, it's at 7 and minus 133 up the top here. So we need to go to motion, and Scratch has already got those coordinates in there, which is really handy for us. So that will put it in position at the bottom of the screen. Now, the next thing we need is a control block, and we'll wait for a couple of seconds, leave that message displayed there uh, on the screen, our title for our story. And what we're going to add in here is a little um, repeat. All right, and we'll go with repeat 10 times, and we're going to then use looks. Okay, and the looks are, we will change an effect. And the effect we're going to change is brightness to fade this guy out. And we've kind of figured out that minus 5, so it gets darker and darker, is a good value to use. Now, the fade will be too fast, and what we need to do is go to control and have a weight in there as well. And 0.5 seconds is going to work okay for us. And so we'll slot that in there, that repeating, and then after we're done with fading out the message, we might as well just hide that whole sprite. So in looks, the purple ones again, down right down the bottom here, we get hide, and we put that in. We then use control, we'll have a wait one second, delay, and then we can broadcast a message. So we're going to put in a broadcast statement out of the orange control blocks and we need a new message. And that new message, if we click on new here, is going to be start scene one. 
All right, and that's pretty much our intro sprite done. Now we need to go back onto the cat and the duck and do some work there. We need the, when clicked, we will have um, that still at the start there. And what we need to do is kind of unsnap this for now, move it down a bit and move the when clicked across because we don't want the characters coming up right at the start and appearing behind the introduction. That's just going to look messy. So we need them to start. We need a when I receive put in here. And when we receive the message start scene one, that's when we want the actual cat to appear. When the start is clicked, we don't want the cat there. So go to purple looks and use the hide to hide the cat. So what's going on here now with the cat is that when it starts up, the cat will disappear and the message can be there without any cat behind it. Remember the message script finishes, we'll just go back to that, sprite one, and we probably should rename that while we're here too up the top. So we'll call that intro message one for scene one. And remember at the bottom here, it's going to broadcast start scene one. So back to the cat, let's click on the cat sprite. So when the cat receives start scene one, we know the intro is finished and then we can do all the cat stuff as usual from part one. Now we need the same sort of thing on the bird. Now a kind of cool thing here is you can grab this part of the code from the cat and you just move it across down here until the duck highlights in gray and then you can drop it into the duck. If we go to the duck sprite now by clicking on that, down the bottom here it's being dropped in so that kind of saves us from retyping it. Now we're going to do the same sort of thing here. We'll slide those away for a minute. We'll take that when clicked and discard it and we need to go to control and when I receive down the bottom here, when the duck receives the message start of scene one because we know the intro is finished when that message comes through because the intro sprite sends that message then the duck can go and do all of the stuff which it did in scene one. Okay then, so let's try things out. Go across to the right here, we'll click the start flag and see what happens. So our intro has come in, but that fade out is happening really slowly. That's way too slow, so we're going to have to uh, just stop and have a look at that. So let's go back to the intro sprite here. Uh, we had the brightness effect changing, we were waiting 0.5 seconds, that is really slow. To speed it up, if we change it to 0.05 seconds, and let's just go back and click and try that. Now the intro comes in, and it's fading out nicely, and the guys appear, and they start talking, and part one basically continues as we've already seen it, so we'll just stop there. Right then, what we need to do now, our next job, is to build the end of scene one message. Remember where it said that we would be um, a short time later and it was all in black with the white writing. So we go down here to paint new sprite and click on that. So we need a text message. This text message we'll make in Arial. And let's just move that with the handle, the black square grabber. Let's take the magnifying class down to full screen and then it's going to say a short time later and have some dots on the end. Now we're not going to make a big square for this to fit in. We tried changing this to white uh, which we do need to do in a minute and paint filling it with black but what happened was we still had gaps around the edge of the screen that didn't cover everything completely so we have to do it a different way now what we're going to do here is uh, we need to highlight that text with the mouse and we're going to change it to white which is going to make it a little bit hard to see here uh, when we click off it but it is there and it's okay so we click OK now in the middle here we'll give that a name and that will be end of EO um, S1 MSG for message because right, you can't have real long names on these guys all right now we need to set up um, some costumes on this and what's going to happen is the costumes are actually going to be on the stage and not on the sprite because we want the background to go all black for the message so let's do that now 
Now we've only got five minutes left, so we'll move along quickly here. Uh, we need to click stage down the bottom here and get into the stage and click on the backgrounds tab so that we can change the backgrounds. Now background one, if we edit that, so we'll just go into edit and get the paint bucket filler, set it to a black color and just paint that whole thing in black. All right, and what that's going to be is that will be our black background. So we'll just call that black screen uh, where our to be continued message appears. And the next thing we can do on backgrounds is we will import and we're going to import backgrounds from scratch and go to nature and double click on that and the one we're going to use is desert that's going to be the scene 2 background so we're going to get that in and get it set up ready to go right that finishes our work on the stage and setting the backgrounds now we need some scripting on the stage a control block so that when we start off uh, we don't want that desert background so the looks are that we need to switch the background into that garden scene which is the pathway one when the, uh, all the, the next one is when it receives a broadcast message, right? When uh, the cat and the duck have left the garden, there is a message out there, which is, uh, there should be one that we need to create, actually, garden empty. So this is a little tricky. Let's go back to the duck. Remember, the duck's the last guy to leave the garden. So we need to broadcast a message here. So we'll add in a broadcast to the duck sprite, and we'll do a new one. And the new one is going to be that garden is empty. So we know both uh, our characters have left the garden and if we go back to the stage and click on that sprite what we can say is here when that sprite receives that the garden is empty we need to change the look and we're going to switch the background into that black screen we've made all right so black screen here uh, then last thing to do is we're going to have another one here which we're, I don't think we've set up yet but when we receive a message and this message is going to be that it's the end of scene one. So we need to make a new message here. End of scene one. All right, what's going to happen then is we're going to switch the background again. And we're going to switch it over to the desert, which is the background for scene two, which will be built in part three of this video. So that is all our coding for the stage finish. Remember, if you're getting lost in this coding, it will be on our website. Check the YouTube details for a link to it. Okay, two minutes to go on the video, and we just need to do the scripting now. Change over to the end of scene one message. The scripts there are that when it starts, we don't want that to be visible at all. So we need to go down the bottom here and get this hide block. The next one in control is when it receives a broadcast message and when it receives the message that the garden is empty, then we can show this message, the white message to be, uh, which is saying a short time later. So let's go to looks and get the show sprite and put that in there. We'll just go to control and wait some time for that message to show on the screen and people to read it. So three seconds should be long enough for that. Then back to the purple looks and then just hide that message. And then to the orange control, and we need to broadcast a message now. And the message we're broadcasting is that it's the end of scene one. All right, so what will happen is uh, it'll say a short time later, broadcast the message, end of scene one. Then if we click back on the stage, remember the stage will pick up that end of scene one message and put up the desert background ready for us to start on the scene two part of the story. All right then, let's go to the right and see how this is going. Uh, we'll click the green flag. We have our intro to the story. I'm hoping we've got enough time left on the video. And this is just part one code here, scripting where the guys talk to each other. And what should happen is when they move away, which will happen shortly, if we don't run out of time, hurry up guys, get out of the garden. So they're both out of the garden. Remember, the duck will send the message. Uh, then our transition message can come up and we go into scene two.